What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to part 4 of the FIFA 15 Scouting Guide. Now today we're going to have a look at um, how you can spot good players on your scouting reports and how you can recognise them and know whether or not to sign them to your academy. But before we get started, I want to just do a quick challenge because I had this suggested to me I thought it was a really good idea. So uh, my challenge is I want to see the best player which you found on any of your scouting reports. So if you just send, uh, take a screenshot or take a photo, uh, leave a link in the comments below um, with a picture of this player in the youth academy or on a scouting report. And uh, you could also uh, send the link to the uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips, or send me a tweet, it's at FIFA Scouting, or if you want to leave a link on the comments section uh, on the website, there'll be a link in the description below as well, just so I can see uh, the best player which you found, and um, I think that'd be an awesome challenge to do. So um, do let me know, and do get scouting away to see the best player that you can find. So. Now that's out of the way, let's get on with having a look at how you can spot good players in FIFA 15. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bring up the scouting update which I've just had through for my scout. Have a look at the players which you've got here. So as you can see, there's a few different ranges here. Overall ranges, potential ranges, and a few different strengths ranges as well for the different players. And so, what do these different things mean? Well, if we start with these strengths, um, I've seen a few players, so, sorry, a few people suggest that um, these are the current uh, attribute for each stat and then the uh, the value which it could potentially reach and I don't think that's quite true so in this case it's not true that you know this player starts with jumping 41 and it could get to 85 what it is in fact is that this is your scout's estimation of how good each stat is so he's only just found these players as you can see here it says scouted one month so he's only just found them so this range is quite big so this is your scout saying he reckons uh, this player's jumping stat is somewhere in, bet in between 41 and 85 and over time this is going to narrow down so every month you get an update from your scout telling you how he thinks these players are, pro are progressing and uh, showing you how he thinks um, his estimation of them has changed so these numbers will narrow down and then eventually after maybe somewhere around six to nine months these um, values become just one number so your scout knows exactly how good this player will be at jumping and the same sort of principle is true with the overall and potential ranges so these narrow down over time as well as your scout gets a better idea of how good the players are and how good they could become so uh, over time the potential range for example could go up or it could go down so the next month when you see this player here for example it starts at 76 to 94 Next month, your scout could come back to you and say uh, he now thinks the potential is somewhere between 80 and 94. So it's always worth keeping people who you think have a good potential range because it could get even better. On the other hand, it could get worse. So next month, it could say 76 to 86, for example. So the potential hasn't actually changed. It's just that your scout is getting a better idea of how good this player could become and he's updating you as he finds out more. So how do you... Uh, recognize a good potential range well one thing I do one little trick which I've picked up is to basically take the middle value between each one so if we look at this one for example the middle number between 76 and 94 is 85 so I would say this player roughly has potential 85 which is really good he's uh, for me I think that is an instant keep I would definitely sign him to my Academy if we look at uh, this one for example the middle value will be 73 so he's not quite as good and I mean if you're playing with a lower league team you may still feel that that's good enough for you and you know, if you have a very low rated scout and you haven't found any better players and you may want to sign him but it's just good to work it out that way just so you have a rough guide to how good this player could become and another thing which I think is useful to look at is uh, if you have a, a player where the lower value in the potential range, for example here, 67 in 67 to 91, if that's in the late 60s, like that, 67 to 91 or 69 to 93, I reckon that's going to be a good player. He's probably going to have potential in the maybe late 70s to early 80s, so he could well, could well be a player worth keeping. If you find anyone like these two with the lower number in the 70s, then for me that is an instant keep. I would definitely sign him to my academy because he it looks like he's going to get into the 80s at the very least. So um, that is a very good potential and that is definitely worth keeping. So uh, next we're going to look at whether you if you uh, sorry whether you should choose between an, a high overall and a high potential. So for example, we have this one here. His overall 28 to 38. That is 
pretty diabolical. Let's be honest, it's pretty terrible. But he has a really high potential. 73 to 94 is the highest on the list we've got here. And that is definitely worth keeping because the middle number between that is about 83. He could become a very good player. If we go down one, this player here has a higher overall, but a much lower potential. So if you had these two and you only had one space left in your academy, which one should you choose? Well, I would always recommend choosing the one with the higher potential because there is one massive thing which really needs to be considered and that is the May update. It's something I mentioned in my last video and what it basically means is that players in your youth academy or on the youth reports like this, they only grow once per year and that is on the 1st of May. And so when this happens, you end up with a massive jump if the player has high potential. So this guy could grow 12 points, he could grow 14 points, you know, he could grow an awful lot in overall and he could become much, much better. Whereas this guy down here, he has a lower potential so he probably won't grow as much and you could well find that this guy, after the May update, actually becomes a better player with a higher overall and higher potential. So with when you're trying to consider between high overall or high potential, I would always take the player with a higher potential because the May update is such a massive, makes such a massive difference. And I will do a dedicated video on this uh, later just so you can see exactly how it works, but that's just a brief mention of it and it's something to definitely keep in mind. Now, should you sign your players to your youth academy straight away or should you just leave them in the uh, report? Well, it depends. It depends if you are sure whether you want to sign them. If you have a player like this, like I said, I would instantly sign him. But if you are a top team, like maybe Real Madrid, Manchester City, Man United, that sort of thing, you may think a player like this um, maybe is not quite good enough for you and you, you want to watch him a bit more to find out. So you can just do this. You can go back and it will say all players on the, currently on this report will be scouted further. And then you'll get a report in the next month, the first of the next month, with your scout updating you, telling you how much they have changed. Now the risk is, the longer you watch these players and don't sign them, the more likely it is that another team will come in and poach them off you and sign them to their own academy. So I would only really watch them a bit further if you're not really sure if you want them. If you are, if you're certain that you do or you don't want them, make a decision, either sign them or reject them. Only really watch them if you're right on the fence and you're not sure. But you can get messages through telling you that the players have been scouted or taken to other youth academies but you can actually avoid that and one thing you can do is basically if you get the message uh, saying that the player has been poached and sent to a different academy just quit the save load it up again and then advance the day if you don't get the message coming through saying that they've been stolen save your game and then advance another day and if it does come up this time you can just quit back out load the save and advance another day again and as you do this um, save every day that you don't get this message and then eventually you can do it where you don't actually get the message at all and you get to keep the player. It can take a lot of reloading and you have to be quite patient but it is worth it because it could mean that you you don't end up losing some of your best players or some players who you're not sure about but could turn out to actually be very good. So that's just a little trick I'd recommend you try just to make sure you can keep hold of the players if you want to. Now the last thing I want to talk about is how you can tell how good your players are going to be once you've promoted them because there are different messages you can get, different statuses which give you a hint as to how good they're going to be. So what you want to do is get to the squad report screen which I'm on right now so I'll show you how you get to it. Just go to the squad tab, head over down here, it's the squad report one and you just go in there, go and have a look at your promoted players and what you might notice here is that they all actually have faces this year, they're not just black silhouettes which is awesome. So it gives you a bit more immersion but you'll also notice that they actually have uh, different shirts, they all have different coloured shirts and different kits which is a bit weird but it doesn't really matter. So anyway, we, they all have faces which is cool. Now what you want to have a look at is in the top right corner where it says status next to the smiley face. And sometimes you'll get uh, no potential message at all, it'll just say when they joined like this player here. Some players will have an exciting prospect, some will have has potential to be special and others will have showing great potential. So what do these different things mean? Well, if it doesn't have anything like this, if it just says at the club since um, then the year they joined, that basically means that their potential is somewhere uh, below 80. So uh, just have, make sure you consult the potential range that the player had before you promoted him. That'll give you a bit of a hint, but it basically means it's uh, below 80. Whereas uh, showing great potential means 80 to 85. 
uh, an exciting prospect is 86 to 90 and then has potential to be special is for the very best players and that basically means 91 plus. So that gives you a great big hint as to how good all these players are going to be. So obviously the best one is has potential to be special. And um, I would consider any player who has 70 overall or above to be very good anyway, regardless of what their potential status is. But that gives you like an, an extra boost or you know an extra, an extra hint so you know how good they're gonna be. Now, one thing to notice or to make note of, sorry, is that if the player has an overall uh, below 60, so this one's just scraping 60, but if they're below 60, it won't give you any status message at all. So even if they have massively high potential, potential 91 plus, if they're below 60 overall, it will just say, just tell you the date they join the club. And as soon as they do get to 60 overall, that message will come back and it will, uh, you'll be able to work out how good they could potentially become. Now, another thing as well is once they get to 22 years old or above, the uh, message goes so just make sure you've made a note of it somewhere so you know once they get a bit older you still know how good they're going to become okay so i think i'll leave it there today guys uh don't forget to enter the competition as well uh to send me the best scouted player which you found make sure they're still in the academy or on your scouts report so we can see the potential range and the overall range uh don't forget to send it to facebook or send me a tweet with the link to it or put a link in the comments below whichever way you want to do it and um i'll close that in a week and then i'll uh present the best findings uh on the next video in a week's time so i think that'll wrap it up for today guys don't forget to leave a like if you thought it was good send me a comment with any suggestions you've got i'd love to hear them and cheers i'll catch you next time